Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial we are going to talk about a package called Laravel Translation UI. So using this package, you can translate all language to different languages. So once you install this package called Laravel Translation UI, you will see an interface like this, you can see. So here you can see uh, English, you can add new language, any amount you want. If you click new language, uh, it will uh, show you option, all the languages available over here. You can see at the same time, if you click on the English, then you will see key file name translation. You can uh, edit the translation if you want. Just click on that and then you will see a page like this. Okay, so right now I'm going to show you how you can install this package Laravel translation UI in your Laravel project. So first of all, uh, we need to create a fresh Laravel project. So I'm going to create my Laravel project. Let's say on new volume f so inside the new volume f let's just open a command prompt let's say here cmd let me just zoom in and let's say here laravel new let's say our project name will be laravel translation then press enter so it will create our laravel project so right now i'll just fast forward the video so our project creation is complete so let's just go to the project directory let's say over here laravel translation press enter so currently we are in the project directories. Let's say about here PHP artisan serve. So I'll just copy this. Let's go to our browser and let's just paste this over here. Press enter. So let me just also open the project using sublime text. So I'll just click open folder, then new volume F. And here you can see Laravel translation. Let's just open the project. So right now, uh, we are going to go to the .env file and here you can see the database name. So let me just copy the database name, Laravel Translation and let's go to our phpMyAdmin. So I'm going to create a database for that project. So click new, then we'll paste the database name here, then click over here, create. So our database is created. So right now uh, we'll go to our GitHub documentation page. So I'll give this link in the description. You will get the link in the description. Okay, just check out the description. So once you come to this uh, page, then you just need to go down and here you can see the installation written here. So right now we need to copy this command, which is composer require out box Laravel translation. So we'll copy this and right now we'll go to our project directory again. We'll go inside the project directory. We'll just open another common prompt. Then let me just zoom in and here we'll paste our command, which is composer require out box Laravel translation. Press enter. So it will install require file for Laravel translation package. So right now I'll just fast forward the video. So here you can see the package installation is complete. So after that, let me just go to the GitHub page again. And after that, we need to run this common PHP addition translation. So we'll just copy this. Then we'll go to our command prompt again. And here we'll paste the command and then press enter. Okay, it is giving us an error that we have not found table in Dara station. Okay. So the thing is, uh, it is not able to find some table in the database. So first of all, we'll just run this command first, PSQ addition, my get. We run this command first, then we'll run this command. Okay. So let's just copy this PSQ addition, my get, and let's paste this over here. PSQ addition, my get, press enter. So there you can see some table is created and here you can see task level table is created over here. So let me just show you in the database table as well. Let's just refresh here. And uh, here you can see Laravel translation and uh, there you can see some table over here. I do paste language, some table over here. So right now, uh, we'll just copy this command, PSQ addition, translation, install. We'll copy this, then we'll paste it in our common prompt. Then press enter. And this command right now is done. So you just need to write this command first before this command, okay? So after this, uh, we can just import some translation by default. So we'll just copy this PS version translation import, or if you want fresh, you can copy this, but we'll just stick with this one. Copy this, then we'll just uh, paste it over here. And press enter PS version translation import. 
and it will ask you a question that it seems you do not have language yes uh, would you like to use default language we'll say here yes then press enter and it will be done and there you can see it is completed so it created a language for us and that is english and if you want to export the translation you need to write this command but for now it's fine so right now here you can see to access the translation ui visit slash translations so we just copy this slash translations so here if we refresh nothing will show here so we need to add a slash translations over here then we'll just press enter and then you will see a few like this so this english was added by the command uh this one by this command okay and there you can see some authentication option you can read it by yourself if you want but for now we are okay so here uh, you can see new language option so let's just add a new language so we just click new language then uh, let's choose from here hindi then click add language and here you can see translation created successfully and hindi is added right now let's just first go inside the english so we'll just click on english then you'll see something like this here you can see accepted validation so whatever you are seeing uh, over here that is written in our code so let me just show you so if we just go to our code then here uh, in your laravel project you will see a new file called lang so if you just go inside that lang you will see en so this is for english language so here you can see auth pagination password and validation so here in the validation you can see accepted the attribute field must be accepted so you can uh, show the validation message in different languages if you want so here you can see accepted so if you want to modify this you can do it as well so let me just modify this so you can see here attribute field must be accepted so instead of this uh, let's say different thing for this so let's just modify this so we'll click on this icon or whatever uh, we'll just click on it and it will let us edit this text so here the attribute field must be accepted so uh, we'll just remove the field from here we we'll remove the field the attribute must accept it only this one then click save changes and there you go it is changed over here but the thing is if we just go to our port inside the validation it is still here attribute pin must be accepted so after changing it here you can see the publish button so if we now click on the publish button it's loading and translation exported successfully so right now if we just go to our code uh, here you can see that the text changed automatically so right now let's just try to add a different language uh, let's try to add hindi so let's go inside hindi and here you can see accepted for accepted there is no translation so let's just click on it translation or on accepted and here stop this that dude must be accepted uh, we'll say over here hindi so for it let's say here english to hindi translation is the text here and there you can see so we'll just copy this then paste here and then click save changes okay one more thing and that is a required parameter are missing so we need to add this before the whatever uh, hindi you are writing here okay so then click save changes so this time it worked perfectly so after this we'll just click publish or whatever so let's just go back and let's click hindi here you can see on is complete on of them and there you can see it is written in hindi so if you want you can add new source key as well new source key means uh, something else let's say here hello let's say hello from hindi and then here you can see select a file so here you can see auth pagination password and validation you can choose anything from here and just click here add a key so this will be added and you also need to click on the publish option as well okay so basically using this laravel translation you can easily add and uh, translate any language to another language so this package will help you a lot when it comes to translation so i just wanted to make a tutorial on this 
and here you can see this package got quite a star uh, 345 but in the future this package will a lot of star because this package is really great for translations so i hope you learn something new and if you want to learn how to create a e-commerce website or how to create a admin dashboard easily in laravel then you can check out the video on the screen that you are seeing right now so thank you very much for watching i hope you'll subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials